Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca Keppel. I am here for Poppy Stamps today. This video is part of the June 2018 Poppy Stamps blog blitz, which means that if you go over to the Poppy Stamps blog and you leave a comment on any of the posts during that week, you have a chance to win the feature die during that day. Now, the die that I'm working with is Large Lovely Koi, and that blog post will be live on Monday, June 25th. Let me show you some of the other dies from this release. I have a few of them and I used a few of them on my cards. This is the Stitchwork Square Frames die. I also have the Stitchwork Frames Circle and Rectangle die. This is the Large Lovely Koi die. And these are the sentiment dies that are the folksy script. I have them in friend, in hello, in thanks, and also in best wishes. And I love having sentiment dies like that. For those types of dies, I like to use Thermoweb's Easy Cut Adhesive. It's a thin, double-sided adhesive that you can adhere to the back of a sheet of cardstock, and then you can run it through your die cut machine with that cardstock so that when you die cut it, then you peel off the backing and you have yourself a die cut sticker. Makes it a lot easier to adhere those thin scripts fonts. So I'm going to cut everything out of very heavy cardstock and it's very smooth cardstock and it's white cardstock as well because I'm going to color all of these things. Because I have the thin adhesive behind a very heavy cardstock, I think it might even be 120 pounds. I'll link it down below so you can see. I am going to use a precision base plate because I really want to make sure that these dies can cut through everything. I'm also going to run it forward and then backward through my Sizzix machine. And you can see that that did the trick between the precision base plate and running it back and forth. Now I'm going to color these die cuts and I'm gonna use my Copic markers and we're not gonna do anything fancy, but I am gonna have a little bit of depth added to these die cuts by shading a little bit using three or four different colors per die cut just so that it gives it a little bit of depth and interest. And you can see that I'm adding some extra color to the fins and the tail, and I really like the way that looks. I'm also going to add some clear Wink of Stella on top just to give it some shine. I'm gonna take a few of the colors that I used for that koi, and I'm gonna make a nice gradient of colors on one of the sentiment dies. I think I did Hello as the first one. I'm going to do this same process with a couple of different color combinations just to show you whatever markers you have or whatever colors you like. You can do this and coordinate your sentiment die cuts with your shape die cuts and then you can add some color cardstock or pattern paper, whatever you like. But this is a way to just kind of use your white cardstock and your markers to create any color combinations that you really love. And I especially love the gradient of colors on the sentiment dies. I think that's so much fun and I love buying stickers like that. So now I've just created my own gradient color and sticker backed sentiment die cuts. So I'm going to do this same thing once again in some greens and add again that wink of Stella. It just adds a nice shimmer to it. You can see that it doesn't add like a glitter. It's just kind of like a hint of shine. Now I'm going to cut out some cardstock with the stitch work. Uh, the, these are the square dies and you can see that I just have to poke out those little tiny holes. Some of them come out, especially when you use the precision die. And once I do that frame die cut, I'm going to adhere them with some Thermoweb iCraft Mixed Media Adhesive. This is a really strong liquid adhesive. It works really well. Since I didn't have the easy cut adhesive behind the frames. And once I peel off the backing for the sentiment die cut and then the koi, I can just press them down on my card front and they are adhered. Next, I'm just going to add some, you know, a little bit of Nouveau Crystal Glaze or some Nouveau Jewel Drops, just to add a little bit of extra dimension and shine. And once again, I really like for these thin frames to use the iCraft Mixed Media Adhesive. It's a great adhesive. It holds really, really well, and it also dries clear. So that helps a lot if you put on a little bit too much on your frame there. And I have it in a precision tipped 
bottle, which I'll link to down below as well, that these are the ones I've tried many precision tipped bottles, and these are the ones that seem to work the best for me without too much clogging. So I will link those for you as well. Again, I have some nice Nouveau Jewel Drops from Tonic Studios in each of the color combinations, and that's another nice thing to add a little bit of hint of shine dimension but also a coordinating color too so once again i'm working with some coordinating cardstocks i cut out that square die and now i'm just poking out those little pieces from the sentiment you can see that i lost the little eye dot there and i tend to do that so <laughs> i usually either add a little bit of uh, tonic studios nouveau crystal drops or this time i decided to use a sequin to dot the eye instead of recutting the whole sentiment and then just grabbing the eye dot from there i also add the tonic studios nouveau crystal glaze on top of the sentiment and you really don't have to add a lot it comes out really quickly so just on the really thicker parts of that friend sentiment there is where i added the glaze Next, I am adhering some sequins down. These are from the new 28 Lilac Lane by Buttons and Galore. And they're this really nice mix of white sequins. Some are pearl, some are opaque white. And I really thought that they were perfect for adding just a little touch again of some shine and dimension and really because they're white and pearl they kind of go with every single card <laughs> so you can see that i added a few more frames in contrasting colors which i think really helped to pop the koi that was in the center of the frames so if you're interested in any of the products that I use today, they'll all be linked down below. Once again, this is all part of the blog blitz for 2018 for Poppy Stamps. Be sure to go over to the Poppy Stamps blog if you wanna win some new dies. If you're interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel, you can do that here. You can also check out my blog for more information, and I'll have a couple of videos linked here that you might be interested in. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day.